internet. Today, I'm going to go through some of my favorite accessories that I use with my diabetes supplies. As you know, if you have type 1 diabetes or a loved one with diabetes, you know it is a pain to carry all of our supplies around. And you know, it's good to have something to look forward to and something to get excited about when you live with chronic illness on a daily basis. So some of these small things like um, stickers or finding a new adhesive is actually a really exciting thing. I get excited about it, I hope to get you excited about it, and hopefully you'll find some new items that you can use to make your life a little easier and more exciting. We're going to start with the most important accessory, everyone has one, our kit. Not everybody calls it a kit, but when I say kit, I refer to the little pouch or bag that carries um, meter, receiver, PDM, whatever it is you use, and then... Um, some people have a kit for their meter plus their vials and syringes or their pens and their needles. But it all depends on what you use, what you prefer, some on budget, um, really what, what works for you. Now I've gone through a lot of kits in my life, in my 18 years of being diabetic. I've used a lot of mainstream kits that you get when you get your meter or your new pump. They're usually pretty straightforward. They have a spot for your meter, your strips, your alcohol swabs, and lancets. Some will have a place for like an ID holder so you can put your contact information in it. A little pouch for, I think it's designed to carry like the manual to whatever meter. I've seen a lot of kits that have little places to put your um, calibrating fluid for your meter. Who carries that around? And uh, extra batteries. Took me a while to figure out what that place was for, though. So I want to go through the kit that I'm using right now. I use two different kits, actually, because I use the Freestyle Libre Flash Glucose Monitor and the Omnipod. So I have my reader and my PDM. Freestyle reader, PDM for the Omnipod. So I don't always have to check my blood with a poker with a pricker. When I do, I use my PDM. Both of these can act as a glucometer and I have an extra freestyle meter. I don't think I've ever used that one. So, I have one container, container, I have one kit for my PDM and reader to go in my purse and I use just a simple makeup bag. Um, I actually don't wear makeup but I have found a great use in makeup bags. I got this one at a yard sale for two bucks. Um, it's the perfect size. It's durable and kind of padded on the inside and not easily like squished. So I really like it. Um, it is literally the perfect size for my PDM and my Libre reader. I have had times where I've had to take them out of my purse when I don't want to take my whole purse into a place. I will stack them up and put my wallet right here and so I just take in to the store wherever I'm at this case. Now um, it would be cool if I could clip on like a strap to it but for this one it doesn't have that. But literally any store, online, thrift shop, go find yourself a makeup case, they're a lifesaver. So my second kit I keep in my purse in case I have a need to check my blood manually. I think it's really faded but it says Omnipod. I use the Omnipod kit but with a few of my own adjustments. So on the inside of the Omnipod kit this is what it looks like. It has a pouch for that I use for lancets. An inside area that I use for alcohol swabs. These two nylon elastic bands are for extra batteries, strips, and this one's for the calibration fluid. This is for the PDM, and this is for a poker. I do not set my kit up that way because I don't use the, I don't use this because I have a case on my PDM and it doesn't fit, and I don't use this because I don't carry the calibration fluid, and I don't Sometimes I'll put my poker in the strap, but not usually because I don't really use this a lot. But some modifications I made to it. Since I went to diabetes camp, 
Um, I just stuck there. I stuck this in there uh, as just a backup, and it's the troubleshooting guide to the Omnipod. It's like a quick reference, so that's something good to carry around. Um, I have my name written on here in Sharpie, but a lot of people put in like ID tags, which are a really good idea with your name and your contact information. So anyway, two modifications I wanted to point out that I made to my own kit that I think could be useful. I added a cell phone strap. If you're my age or older, you will remember that old flip cell phones had a little part on the corner where you could put on charms and straps. And I just took one of those cell phone straps, looped it around this part of the kit and so now um, it can go around your wrist it's very useful I wanted to go over this little keychain that I get on Amazon in packs of three it says type 1 diabetic insulin dependent I'm really bad at holding stuff still um, these are awesome you can put them everywhere I have them on my kit I have them on the makeup bags I use for my medical supplies I have them on my backpack for school. You can put them literally everywhere and the, you can find them on Amazon. I will try to link some of this stuff in the description, but I won't be able to link all of it. So that's my Omnipod kit that I keep in my bag just in case I need to check my blood manually. Other than that, I use the makeup bag. So back to makeup bags for a second. Like I said, makeup bags could be life changers when it comes to carrying medical supplies because they come in all shapes and sizes. You can find a vast array of designs and prices. You can go from thrift shop cheap or to really expensive. So I have another makeup bag here and it has Stitch from Lilo and Stitch on it. It says born to stand out. I really liked that. So what could possibly be in this bag? I went over my kit and my readers, right? No, this is my low bag. So a lot of people have low stashes in their cars, in their bedroom, in their bedside table. I have a low kit. It goes in the center part of my purse and I take it everywhere. So some things I keep in my low kit, glucose tablets, um, really good. If you don't carry glucose tablets, they're not as overrated as I used to think. They work really well. I keep organic fruit strips in mine because they're 12 grams and Sometimes I'm not low, but I want a snack. My go-to low snack are Capri Suns because they're 16 grams a pouch. Pacific Cooler is the best. And a Pixie Stick. I have a Pixie Stick in here right now. Pixie Sticks are 15, 15 grams for one. I swear this stuff is like eight years old. I've never used it. It's called Hypostop. It's essentially glucose gel. I'm just going to go ahead and trash that and get some new stuff later. Anyway, you can put crackers in here, you can put any type of low snack in here, but it's a good idea maybe to find a little pouch or a little bag, not necessarily a makeup bag, to put some low snacks in and just keep it in a common place where you can get to it. Um, then it's easy to grab on the go, easy to travel with, yeah. So that's my low pouch. Next, I wanna show you something that I found I think last year is the best $18 I've ever spent, okay? So for those of you on pens or vials or use or have to travel with vials of insulin for your pumps when you have to go out of town, like for me, if I am going out of town, I take extra insulin just to be prepared. Okay, so Icy Diamond Totes. You can find them on Amazon. Um, they're around $20. They are designed to carry medication and breast milk. Like, the people who designed them were designing them to s carry small items. It's a cooler. It's a cooler the size of a wallet. Um, this is the inside. It has two internal pouches for ice packs. And it comes with ice packs. Oh, and it has a little ID pouch there. It comes with ice packs, but their ice packs only last about two or three hours. You can fit two Rubbermaid lunchbox ice packs in here, and those last way longer. A couple other things. You can clip this on a backpack. You can fit it in a purse. You can put it in a glove box. Like, it's amazing. Like, the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. It comes with this clip on it. I put one of my diabetes keychains on it. It also has a strap, a clip-on strap, 
and it's adjustable so you can wear it as a little purse so if you are on pens or syringes I have no doubt that you could fit everything you need for injections in this cooler so I don't really use the strap I just hook it on my backpack for school or put it in my purse when I go out of town but it's still like one of the best things that I've ever bought so I will try to link this one in the description too Icy Diamond Totes. You can find them on Amazon. Okay, we're almost done here. I have a couple of item-specific accessories I'd like to go over. First, let's go over Omnipod. As you've seen in some of my videos, my Omnipod has a case on it. It is a rubber case. Um, you can get these from Omnipod representatives. I got my orange one at a... <laughs> not really a convention, but like a conference for type 2 diabetes, and my mom and I just went to check it out, and I ended up getting a free case. So I was really excited about that. I got my black case from my pump educator, who wasn't very good at her job, but she did give me a case with my PDM, so I'm excited about that. They're rubber. My only thing about these cases is that they only have an opening for the strip port. They don't have an opening for the um, download port, and that's a minor inconvenience, but overall, these are great. I really advise getting these for your PDMs. Another thing about them, though, is with the case on, they won't fit in the part of your kit that's made for the PDM. So anyway, that's the PDM case. Another thing you can get for your PDM from your pump educator, most likely, is this little thing. Whoops, dropped it. This is another case for the PDM. It clips on your belt, but you can't fit the PDM in here with the rubber case on. But if you are out at work sites and you don't carry a purse on you, so if you're a guy, this might work really well for you. So it just fits right in there and it clips on. It's really nifty. Um, I use it sometimes when I know I'm going to be like walking around without a bag, so I keep it on hand. Um, I don't think I'll be able to link this one because I don't remember where I got mine. So, PDM cases. Get one. I mean, if you have an Omnipod. Another Omnipod product that's not actually made by Insulet that I absolutely adore are pod stickers. So, pod stickers are really fun. Um, they're really geared more towards children, but I am a child at heart and I love them. I'm wearing one right now. So, pod stickers are just these stickers that are shaped to go on the pods. You can order the Insulin Life multi-pack of stickers from Amazon. They have three variety packs available right now. I have used two of the variety packs. I just got a new variety pack in the mail yesterday, and I will preview some of the stickers that came in the pack. I got the children's pack this time because it has unicorns in it. And who doesn't love unicorns? Okay, so there's the unicorn sticker. Um, a couple other ones that are in this variety pack are Minnie Mouse. And I'll show you one more. Elephant! Isn't that cute? Okay, so those are pod stickers. And um, I will link these. You can get them on Amazon. Insulin Life pod stickers variety pack but you can get some from pump peels so here's one on an old pod it says wow such pump with doge on it these are from pump peels they're supposed to be reusable but it's kind of hard taking them off and putting them back on without ruining them they are more expensive so the variety pack you pay like I'm not really sure how much it is but the variety pack comes with two copies of 10 different styles so 20 stickers but you have to pay like five dollars a sticker three to five dollars a sticker plus shipping and handling at pump peels so although pump peels has a lot of really cool designs I like to go with the variety packs so next I want to jump to my freestyle Libre so you might have noticed I got a skin for it. The skin is just a sticker that goes on the front of the Libre. I have flames. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. So this is what the flame skin for my Freestyle Libre came on. And it has a sticker in the middle for the actual sensor. But I haven't put it on yet. There aren't very many skins available right now. I think there were only two or three designs on Amazon. I will link it in the description to the flame skin. Okay, I also wanted to talk about 
this case for my Freestyle Libre, which has an opening for the strip port and the charging port. This I got from Rockadex. You can find Rockadex on Etsy or Amazon. I will link this one to the description as well. Um, I don't remember how much this case cost, but I really, really like it because it actually adds some extra weight to this reader. This reader is really lightweight. I won't call it flimsy, but I dropped it a lot before I got my case. Adding the extra grip and the extra weight has been really great on the Libre reader. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like and share my video, please. And as always, stay awesome.